stoichiometry, grams to grams. How many grams of rust, Fe2O3, are formed when 15 grams of iron are oxidized completely by an excess of oxygen? First thing we need to do is write out a balanced chemical equation. In this case, iron, Fe, is being combined with oxygen, O2, to form rust, Fe2O3. We are reminded that oxygen is a diatomic molecule when it is by itself. In its gas form, it is one of the Honkelbrifs, H, O, N, C, L, B, R, I, and F, are always diatomic in their gas form. In this case, we have a molecule of rust having three oxygen atoms on the right, and we have a diatomic oxygen on the left. The common multiple for oxygen, therefore, would be six. Two molecules of rust will give us six atoms of oxygen on the right, and three molecules of oxygen on the left will provide six atoms of oxygen. This gives us four atoms of iron. Therefore, we need four molecules of iron on the left. The next thing we have to do is locate our start and our end. Our start is what we have, while our end is what we want. In this case, our start is going to be the 15 grams of iron that are being oxidized and our end is going to be how many grams of rust we can create. Therefore, we start with 15 grams of iron, and we end with what we are looking for, grams of rust. Now that we have a balanced chemical equation, we can figure out the roadmap we will need to follow. And these, this roadmap will lay out the conversions we need to calculate our end. Starting with the 15 grams of iron, we first need to convert to moles of iron. One mole of iron can always be compared to the gram formula mass, or the atomic mass unit, which is the mass from the periodic table. Our second conversion is to change to moles of rust, which is what we are looking for, while we cancel moles of iron. Using the balanced chemical equation, we can see that there are two moles of rust for every four moles of iron. This conversion, which is the bridge between moles, always gets its number value from the balanced chemical equation. Our last conversion is to cancel the moles of rust to get grams of rust, and we will do this using the periodic table masses for iron and oxygen. In this case, we have two atoms of iron at 55.6 grams, which gives us a value of 111.2 grams. There are three atoms of oxygen times 16 to give us a mass of 48 for the oxygen. When we combine them together, we get 159.2 grams for the mass of rust. Using a calculator, we can now calculate the values. 15 divided by 55.6 times 2 divided by 4 times 159.2 to get the mass of rust found 21.47 using significant figures 21 grams of rust. This is our theoretical mass produced.